So let's continue this a little exercise. We're going to record again. All right, so we're recording. So the next one, I'm going to right click and see something. So we have another background here. This one now is the details. The width is 7680 by 1080. That's going sideways. So now we're going to do this background thing again, except we're going to do it sideways. Or I could show you what the other background looked like. Let me show you what the other one looked like before. This one. So let's do that. So if you were thinking, for example, waterfall, right? This is an example of a waterfall. So file, new project, project with a camera, right? And then you press new project. Yes, I am. So file, import. And this time you're going to import this one here. Long shot pan down. That sounds very Chinese. No offense, YouTube Asians. Um, so press import. And what we're going to do now, uh, well, inside the clip, right, we're going to just extend our timeline to just go, well, you could extend it or you could just even just leave it here paused, you know. So let's say we go, we just want it to pan down for about uh, a while. So, hmm, 20, 200, 240 frames, about, um, how many seconds is that? 20, 240 frames. Oh, 100 what? 100 seconds, which is like what? You sure? <laughs> 24 frames per second. 240, it's about 10 seconds. Yes. <laughs> One minute. Yes, definitely. All right, so we're going to throw a camera in again. All right, bam, camera. First place is going to be is in the middle. It usually starts in the middle. When you create the camera. No, I don't. I would never know what. No. So we're starting off here at the very top. All right, so I might say, okay. And it depends on what you want to do, you know. So remember we said we can actually duplicate these things. So maybe I want to start off and say, well, I wouldn't mind showing the sun for a while. So we say, hey, let's duplicate this clip. So we start off with, you know, probably about three seconds of sunlight. How long is three seconds? 72 frames. Thank you. 72 frames about there so we want about 72 frames where it's just standing there in the basking in the glory of the sun and then after a while move from that to you know you're coming down some more to uh, this one here we going down by the way you can just pull it down here so I, I like this idea that you have this uh, is shot here all right so we have that shot going there oh wait I did something wrong I don't drag this right I click <laughs> right so you click there I'm just gonna stop at the waterfall running down no now if you were gonna do for example like we said your waterfall like said you want a camera movement you plan big, you animate the whole thing, and then move your camera, right? So um, when it's moving now, you're gonna have something like this. And maybe I want it to kinda go a little bit slow here. So what I'll do is uh, throw one about, yeah, slower here and then faster as I go down, right? Uh, probably here, yeah, yeah just, you, you stay here for a while, right? Does that control how? Okay, no, no. doesn't control how fast that is. Okay. Hmm. All right, so let's play this out. The, well, if you don't put any mark in mark out, by the way, you know this is both zero now. Even so, it's gonna just play out from whatever I start to the, the end. So if we play, well, if we press this now, you start off, you know, one, two, three. Whatever. Right, cool. And then you know whoosh and stuff. 
So for example, let's make this more interesting. We're going to create a very simple animatic. Right? So let's say new layer. Not here, obviously not. Move this over here. Right? And I'm just going to zoom in because I can't really see what's going on from here. And if this is indeed... Ooh, you're wrong. Uh -huh. Right, so we're going to have that there. And I'm going to animate uh, mm, something like a little bird thing. I'll probably use watercolors or something. Crayon, chalk, chalk. There we go, some chalk. Eh. Nope, no chalk. Mm -mm. We're going to animate using acrylic. Yeah. Some acrylic. Yeah, that works. So we're going to say, all right, so we're there. You know, cool stuff's happening. By cool stuff, we mean like nothing. Uh, and then we're going to add a thing like a bird, maybe. Like a caca. You know, caca. Some, some bird thing flying by. <laughs> it's a ghost pigeon. It's a bird thing. Right, so that's one. One frame. Next frame. Yeah, we need an onion skin. Onion. So let's say our trajectory is this way. The bird's going to go that way. It's nice to plan out your trajectory as in we intend for this thing to go. And you know, let's imagine it's getting further away as it, you know, flies. Yeah, it gets smaller. So, you know, yeah. Still, yeah. So... Wow, this bird is becoming less of a bird. So like I said, it's an, like an animatic, you wouldn't put too much detail in it, but at least you want to know that when people are looking at it, they know exactly what's happening. Right, shift K again. Okay. And we proceed. And bird doing bird things. You know, birding around like birds do. Details, details. If it was a plane, sir, it would look more like this. But that's 3D. <laughs> right, and stuff. And then, you know, it's really just flying away and flying far away basically yes indeed mm -hmm. and then ting right so bird thing does that Cool. Let's play the clip. Roll the clip. Okay. Oh, that was fast. That was too fast. <laughs> right, and then you could probably have the bird re enter here and fly down. You know, flap, flap, flap. Whoosh. Flies across, waterfall, all waterfall and whatnot.
right? So then that's how you create something like that. So you could actually create the bird flying. So pretend my mouse right now that you're seeing on the screen is the bird. New, yeah. And then afterwards, the bird re-enters at a specific frame about here and starts flying over the water and you know, yeah, it's amazing and it flies off screen. We could make it come in from the sparky thing, yes. Yeah, if we start it here and it comes back this way, and then afterwards kind of joins us along. Yeah, we could do that. So let's say we reintroduce our bird. Where are we? Mm -hmm, somewhere down here. Mm -hmm. hmm. Details, details. <coughs> so, new layer. And, uh, what, well, um, hmm. It would be a good time to throw in the animal bird. You know? So I'm going to draw a bird again. Bird. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now our bird rejoins us. And we just give it a nice little thing. You know, it's there with its shades and its uh, backpack and everything, you know, bird on a mission. You know, Jan, Jan Sport. Try to do this stuff. Kaka. <laughs> right, so that's one frame of bird. I was going to animate it on spot just to make it a little bit more bearable and turn on my uh, keyframes for about two frames backwards, two frames forward. And this bird is gonna be like, yes. Yeah, let's work with that. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Maximum speed. So, um, yes, our bird is doing this. And it's going to just kind of a little more bird-like. We just have it repeat itself. And ta-da! I don't mind the head, it's having a concussion while flying. So I highlight those frames. Let's create our anim brush. Yep, cut out an anim brush, why not? <clears throat> Goodbye bird. Hello new bird. So I'm going to hide this layer. Let's zoom out so we can see the whole thing. And from here, our bird's gonna fly in. So what do we do? <clears throat> One, turn this into a single point. And then just hold control and hopefully we can catch up to this thing. 
Oh wait, one more thing. Expand this and do what? Empty instances. Are you sure it wasn't empty? Here's what we need to do. Not empty so much, but dot. Not just single dot, but dots. Yes, we are totally flying. All cool like. Kaka. All right, let's play this out. It's a hummingbird. Jeez. Kaka. And we're flying, and we're flying. Kaka. Yeah. It definitely is way too close to the camera. Let's do that again. <laughs> so let's do that again. Delete those. Clear in progress. I guess when y'all got the tools, tool lecture, it's like, hey guys, caca. <laughs> we know whose class that is. <laughs> All right, we're not even done recording yet. All right, let's do that again. So we said the bird's gonna fly in. So what do we do? Um, well, make sure these are all empty instances, which they are currently. And we come back here and do it again. Whole CTRL, make sure you're on dots, right? Dot, sys. And hold control, you know, just have it follow the camera for a little bit. And probably just go like this, it's like, yeah, I'm flying over this waterfall flying over this waterfall and then finally it's gonna just take off yes so let's play that out again in the project <clears throat> press play Tia. then it floats down floats down floats down continuous bird flies the bird caca yeah it flies away right so then you have an animation to that right <laughs> oh, I am. Yes, notice the sun thing stays in the spot for about five seconds. This is the first one, you know, that's the first one. The second one is this part when it moves on. Yeah. Bird flies back down from outer space. This backpack and its epileptic head. Right? And then you have that. Cool? But well, you kind of have to draw it how you imagine seeing it as you were moving your head or tilting your head down. Right? That's what it takes to be a good layout artist. So however you imagine your camera to move, you draw it specifically in that way. Okay? So I'll start the recording here.